Hey guys and welcome back. As you can tell by the title of the video, um, today we're going to try to build a homemade sulky from just stuff that I kind of had laying around. Um, right here what I decided to do, I've got an old junk ride mower, so I cut the, the front wheels out from under it there. And uh, I'm going to use those. They're probably a little big, but it's what I had, so I'm going to go with it. Um, what started this, I thought, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm working on an old button. And um, I thought it would be kind of cool to to have one, because, you know, why walk when you can ride? So I started pricing them, and uh, turns out they're not giving those things away. I seemed like a pretty simple setup, so I thought it wouldn't be too bad as far as, you know, price. But I was wrong. So, <clears throat> I started looking and uh, turns out I've got, I, I think I've got everything laying around here that I'll need to build one. Um, sorry about that. What I've got here is some old, uh, just some old play steel. I cut a couple out of, um, and I'll, we'll see how it comes together as we go. But, um, so I've got, I'm going to do a tongue style on it, which is, <clears throat> this square tubing right here, it's uh, I think it's two and a quarter square tubing that I had laying around. That's going to be the pedestal for the uh, for the seat, and laying over there beside it right there is what I'm going to use for an axle. It's just some thick walled uh, one inch tubing I had laying around. The only money that I spent on this project is the coupler here and the ball that I'm going to mount on the the mower itself. Um, I noticed that a lot of them had the uh, pin style connections, but I thought that might work a little better as far as uh, ease of connect and disconnect. And it would also give you a little more articulation without having to worry about fancy joints and all that good stuff. Um, so I think that's probably the simplest, easiest way to do it. And I may be wrong. I, I may be, you know, talking out of my ear here, but... I don't know, I think I can make it work. So right now I've got um, a total of like $19 in it. And I couldn't even find, when I was looking online, I couldn't even find any of the uh, sit-down style. All I could find was the regular stand-up sulkies. And they're just crazy, man. They're up like 30 350 bucks. So I figured if we're going to do it, let's go ahead and put a... Oh, yeah, let me show you over here in the corner. That fancy uh, ride mower seat that I robbed off of that same ride mower. So we're going to mount that too. So if we got to do it. We might as well be comfortable while we're doing it. But anyway, guys, let me get let me get everything set up. Um, see if I can uh, redeem myself from uh, the welding I did on my last video. <laughs> Couldn't be any worse, right? But anyway, let me get set up and uh, we'll we'll get to it. So we got it tacked up. Let me get that finished welding up. Excuse me, let me finish welding that up and uh, bring it back in and we'll move on to the next step. Alright guys, so I got the uh, axle welded in. Now the I got the plate set just so I can get a decent tack on it, and um, that's going to be the plate that the pedestal is going to sit on for the uh, 
for the seat to mount to. But let's see if we can get this tacked up. see that because if you watch my last video it looked like I had never welded in my life. No, while I'm not a professional that looks a little better than it did last time. So I'm going to get this flipped over, finish welding on the back side. Uh, I'm not going to make you sit through that but once I get that situated I'll bring you back in. Alright so we got it welded on the bottom side. Um, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and weld the uh, the axle to the shaft on the tire. Um, I'm going to weld it around the bottom, but I also drilled some plug holes so I can, uh, you know, try to plug weld it there. Um, kind of hold it in place at least. The, the problem is, I don't want to get that shaft too hot and heat the bearings up. Um, so I'm going to get the plug welds done and see how that goes and uh, try to slowly weld around the base without uh, overheating the grease in there but uh, let me get that done and uh, we'll uh, see how it turns out alright so we've got the axle welded in welded on whatever uh, the next step is going to be the pedestal for the seat. Wow, that looks really high on camera. It's not. The, I think the seat height is going to be about 23 inches is what I figured out it needed to be. But um, let me go ahead and get that squared up and lined up. I hate to keep bouncing in and out, but I, I 
doubt you guys want to sit here for 20 minutes and watch me weld so um, forgive me I just figure this is more interesting than sitting through that but let me uh, let me get this affixed and uh, bring you back and we'll move on from there so a little discovery channel footage for you here I welded up the uh, tube and apparently there was a uh, I don't know must be some living down in there they're all over the place anyway got it welded up <clears throat> all the way around now the next thing I want to do is take that plate and weld it up here on top for the seat to sit on but before I do that, I want to get the seat and take the mount off the bottom and go ahead and uh, pre-drill my holes. I'll make it a lot easier to do it now than uh, once it's, you know, mounted up there. So let me, let me get all this off the table and get it cleared up and get set up and uh, bring you back. Alright, let's see if we can get the mount off the seat. to use can't see anything I'm doing I'd like to use that center hole but the reason I'm struggling is because I'd like to put a bigger uh, mount bolt in it so what I'm probably going to do is just drill two new holes one here and one here I think that'll be fine I'll just jump up to some bigger hardware so yeah let me get those drilled out and get a mark on the plate and we'll get back after it Okay, so I got the uh, mount put back on for the seat and I went ahead while I was in there and I had taken the two uh, seat springs off of that junk mower and went ahead and mounted them just so I could kind of see where they needed to go. Um, so now the next step is the part that I was dreading the most. I had to take all that back off and uh, get that plate mounted to that pedestal and uh, that's going to take some finagling and setting up, but uh, other than welding the coupler on, that's pretty much all we lack, so, you know, other than purging it up and stuff, but right now for testing purposes, that doesn't matter. So let me get this uh, taken back apart and get everything set up and uh, we'll <clears throat> get it finished up. Alright, so we got it. Uh rigged up it's I'm not as concerned with front to back but I did want to get it centered so <clears throat> that should be good to go so 
Let's see what we can do with it. So anyway, once again, get the idea. Let me get this finished up and uh, get it flipped over and put the put the uh, ball mount on it, and we should be good. All right, she is uh she's together. That's together. She's gonna get anyway. Um, so I got this. I got the coupler. It done. The problem that I'm having with the coupler is that it's kind of an odd size pipe. It's that's not odd size, but it's like two and a quarter. And last night when I went to get the coupler, I couldn't find a two and a quarter. So what I wound up getting, I don't know how well you can see that, has quite the gap on either side. Now, that's okay, I, it's, you know, if I was going to be uh, hooking this thing up to something that matters, sorry, I'm still my first day with the camera, I guess. Um, what I'll probably wind up doing is just putting the bolts through with a, a bushing or spacer on each side. But, uh, I mean, this thing is, it's pretty overbuilt. Um, but let's be honest, you know, so am I. So, figured, you know, a little extra wouldn't hurt. But, uh, I'm, uh, I'm all used up today. The wife's inside cooking some meat, and, uh, I'm hungry and tired and ready to quit. So, I'm going to cut it off here for now. Tomorrow, I'll, uh, the only thing we have left to do is actually to fabricate some kind of hitch mount. <clears throat> so I can mount the ball on this. But I needed to finish that so I could see, you know, what height I needed. But uh, when I come back out here tomorrow, or, you know, instantaneously for you, we'll uh, figure that out and get started on that and get the ball mounted and uh, take this pig out for a ride and see what she does. All right, guys, so there she is. So I brought it out here and... Uh, I was trying it out and uh, I drove it all over. First thing I figured out is it's too close, at least for me. You can't, you could make a true zero turn on it. I can't while I'm sitting on the seat. So, and the seat is actually adjustable, so it needs to be further back. So I'm gonna have to offset the seat or extend the tongue or do something. But um other than that it worked really well i mean if, if you didn't have to make a perfect zero turn with it it's it's good to go um rides good it's smooth trails nicely backs good um rigged up a pretty simple 
hitch system there with just some plate steel. Um, and the, there was actually, I got lucky, there was already two, two holes there holding on that. It's hard to tell on camera, but whatever that hinge system was for, there was two bolts right there already holding that on, so I just reused those. But um, let's see here. Well, there you go. But anyway, um, when all is said and done, I'm uh, pretty impressed with it. I think it's going to work good. Um, <clears throat> I got to replace the belts. Turns out that the same belts that are on it um, aren't any good anymore. So I just didn't make it back with it. It stopped pulling and uh, I checked the fluid in it and all that was good. So I climbed under there and the uh, pulleys on the bottom of the pumps stopped pulling. So I, I could smell the belt burning. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm pleased with it. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me like always. Um, thought this was a pretty cool one. I'm glad it turned out. But uh, if you got anything out of it, appreciate a like. Maybe think about subscribing. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.